I'm Corey Peels. I'm 30 years old. Not that old. Um, I was born in Bombay, India, and I lived in an orphanage for five years. My parents passed away. My aunt and uncle um, couldn't take care of me because they didn't have enough money to take care of my my medical needs and all that stuff. So I ended up in an orphanage where I was placed with loving, caring nuns. And I met Mother Teresa in the orphanage and she took me in. I knew that she would take me in because I didn't have um, anyone to be taken care of and I knew that she would take care of me too. Not only me, but other children and adults with a with lot of different um, disabilities. But I guess I'd always go back to, to the persistence and the fact that Corey always believes that she can do whatever she sets out to do. And sometimes it's a little prodding, but then she sets her goals and she goes after it. And uh, she doesn't give up until she accomplishes what she set out to do. I've watched her out on the ice go over and over and over and over a move until she gets it right. She's pretty incredible. She is a very incredible young lady. I was going to be adopted into an in, Indian family because I'm Indian. And um, when they found out that I had an intellectual disability, the Indian family did not want me because I had a, a disability and in that culture um, having a, having an intellectual um, disability was un unaccepted in their own culture so it was hard for me but you know and then I met my mother, which she did a lot of home study, she did a lot of paperwork, and she came through and she made it. Um, her, the papers were approved, everything was approved, and she got what she wanted. I was uh, a single child for like seven years. So when she first came, that was a huge adjustment. Um, it was tough to, I think, share my mom. Um, and it was tough because Corey didn't actually, did, she didn't know English and she didn't have a lot of language skills, but we were able to kind of build our own relationship. Do even with the language barrier and being a single child for so long, be able to develop a, a relationship, a really close relationship, and a relationship really unlike all my other friends who have siblings. So my undergrad, my, my degree is in um, special education, and the, the sole reason why I decided to go for special education was because of Corey. And going to school and watching Corey, you know, be successful in some things and struggle in a lot of other things, and struggle in a lot of ways, not because of, of Corey, but because of the system and because of some of you know, the teachers and her experiences. I've known Corey for about eight years, for three and a half years in the college program, in a college setting, and um, the rest in a dayhab setting. And initially when I met Corey in the dayhab setting, we knew it wasn't the right fit for her. Corey needed to be free. Corey needed to explore her own interests and um, be away from a volunteer setting and get into the workforce. We knew that she had the capabilities. We just needed to figure out a way to do that. TIFSA program is a transition post-secondary program for students with intellectual disabilities. It's long, it's a long scrambling words, but I know I can say it. Well, because I've been wanting to go back to school because I loved school because I finished high school. I finished the the um, b b bridge program at the 
U of R and I really wanted to learn more because I've been wanting to have a career like like everyone else so I joined the TIFSA program and it really helped yes she really really had a hard time with um, muscle coordination I mean walking across a room was difficult for her because she would she would trip she didn't have good strong muscle tone but she learned to ride a bike she learned to skip she learned to jump uh, she was in gymnastics she was in soccer, hated soccer. And we worked at various things until she found what she really loved. And it was skating. When I was little, very little, I went skating with my mom and my sister. I've been watching ice skating on TV because I love ice skating. And I've been, wa I've been wanting to be like, like Michelle Kwan. And that's who I wanted to be, just like her, because um, she would just do, like, just be brave and just skate out there like an angel floating. And I had to nag my mom to let me skate. I just kept nagging and nagging and nagging until she just said, okay. Corey asked me for a long time if she could take ice skating lessons. I said no. She had so much trouble with her muscle coordination that I knew she would get out on that ice and it would be a problem. And I didn't want her to get discouraged. So probably for two years I said no. And finally she just wore me down because she doesn't give up. And so, all right, fine. Go take ice skating lessons. Knowing full well that she wasn't gonna be successful and trying to figure out in my mind, how am I gonna deal with this when that happens? And I was so wrong, so wrong. And you watch Corey on the ice today and she just glides across the ice. Uh, it's amazing. And it's that stubborn streak that started way back when she was very tiny that has carried her through and that persistence and that never given up. So. Because my mother always said, you cannot quit. Right. Because you can't just give up. You have to stick to it. And just keeping that um, commitment. You, you have that job you want it, you gotta stick to it. Because my mother would never let me quit.